What's up, wizards? Welcome and welcome back. Depending on which reading and or vlog you have clicked on, darling, we are going to do your miracles and blessings for the next three days. All of my readings are timeless. So we are going to do three parts. I hope this is one of those readings that is really good and really juicy. Um, I did some smoke cleansing and I did an etheric cord cutter before sitting down and recording this because so many people have been trying to get in my energy bubble lately. And I am just like, no, access denied, access denied. There are some things that I am trying to do, access denied. So let's do miracles and blessings the next three days, okay? Pile one. Let's see what miracles and blessings are entering your universe the next three days. Oh, that's what I call it. The, I like that title better. <laughs> miracles and blessings entering your universe in the next three days. Ooh. Oh, this is more of like. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's exactly what I was feeling. Here for part one, this is more like respect. Um, I know that, well, that that could be a miracle and or blessing for some of you guys here, depending on what you're manifesting or depending on what it is that you're trying to usher into your universe. I will say though, here with the Six of Cups, there's definitely this very heavy theme that's going out in the collective of like memories, um, kind of like blast from the past, maybe um, kind of uh, resonating with certain time periods more than other time periods. This could be something about your work schedule is changing. Um, it just it feels like there's some type of shift over the next three days from like things that you used to do in the past versus things that your spirit team is wanting you to lean more on doing like in the future. I will say uh, some of you guys here might be in your villain era or your icon energy. I've been saying that a little bit of a lot lately here on my channel. This two of swords energy lets me know that there's something that's very petty that wisdom can squash. Like I feel like the next three days, like another miracle and blessing that could be entering your universe is something that you've been fighting for um, very in a very selfless way. And I feel like, I don't know, something about this next 24 hours, Pal One, it definitely feels like you're going to be coming out of some type of hole or coming out of some type of burden. It's almost as like here, this 10 of wands, like maybe you were the one that was oppressed or maybe you were the one that was stressed or you were the one that was weighed down. And it seems like the next 24 hours, it's like you're taking some type of uh, load off of your back. This could be some type of big project. So I feel like the miracle and blessings that that's going to bring into your universe definitely here is a lot of private money. And then I also feel like public, uh, who? This could be some public support. This could be public praise. Uh, here with this goddess of cups, this could be some type of uh, dream that you have like coming into fruition, like for other people to see, other people to witness, other people to um, experience. I feel like another blessing or miracle that's happened this next three days is you getting your day in court. Um, I'm not sure what that means for the lot of you here, but I do feel like this next 24 hours, it could be that there is some case that you need to win. Um, it could be some case that is going, starting to go in your favor. Maybe you have petitioned the astral courts or the celestial courts for some type of judgment to come down. And that is going to be a miracle and a blessing for you. Because it feels like here with that God of Pentacles, there's a lot of high um, authority, high decision making. You could have ancestrals that are very high ranking in the spirit realm. You could be very high ranking. You could be dealing with some very high profile energies. Um, I do feel like here the next three um, days, there will be some... Uh, some celebration that's in order. I feel like maybe some of you guys are very anxious about some type of master, um, something that you're dedicating yourself to. This could be maybe uh, some of you guys are moving up in levels of mastery over the next three days and that bringing a level of anxiety, but then also at the same time, bringing a level of praise and opportunity. It definitely seems like here in pile one, um, the major blessings that you're needing is just kind of like the, the boat to be driven in a different direction. So say like maybe you were choosing one path and it was um, 
causing things to fall out of your lap, fall out of your hands, dealing with a lot of anxiety. This could be your love life in shambles, maybe your money in shambles. Like it just feels like things were just shattered. Um, whether this is past or present energy, because I do feel like some of you guys here in Powan, this could be energy that maybe you're healing from. Maybe you're healing from a period of time where things were um not in alignment or they were in shambles or some type of um misbalance. I do I am hearing a troubled, troubled child. Maybe some of you guys here are dealing with some type of um troublesome energies or spirits, not just jumping inside of you or the people you love. This could be even um children. I think that was the goddess of swords that fell on the floor. You guys, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. However, I see the next three days. Expect to see more harmony and peace in your relationship. I will even say your your partnerships. It feels like maybe there's been some miscommunication possibly with people that you could be in business with, pile one, or this could be maybe people that you were um, manifesting similar desires and dreams. Um, this could be um, people using more emotional manipulation and spell work to try to get you to make things that wouldn't necessarily make your cup full. So be mindful of that because I feel like spirit of your ancestors is really wanting to um, pour a lot out to you the next three days, but they want to make sure that you don't um, pour it back out to other people that are undeserving of it. Um, very interesting. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. Let's see. Any um, miracles and blessings? Okay, some of you guys being granted and or... Um, opening a gift of clear cognizance okay sometimes the ability to know is a burden <laughs> um, but sometimes the ability to know and discern and move accordingly is a blessing uh, maybe maybe y'all may not feel that way the bible is just spell book maybe somebody here getting reacquainted with some type of bible magic um, this could be a uh, evening ritual uh, miracle blessings coming to you possibly through embracing a mediumship gift or ability um, knowing that there are certain energies of front that are not always rooting for you, how one. And I feel like your spirit team is uh, showing you that and, and hoping that you see it's not meant to stop you or diminish your shine, uh, but to help you to radiate with other people who shine just as much as you do. It's very, it's very you know. I feel like it's just a very poetic way of saying, like, you know, fuck the hate. <laughs> we got to keep it professional sometimes, too. Spells and rituals to invite in, okay? Maybe that your spirit, your spirit team is wanting you to um, do more spells and rituals to help invite in this energy. Study financial literacy. <laughs> it's a little crazy out here. Depending on what article you choose. So choose wisely. And we have, ooh, flex your creative muscles. Hot Okay. All right. Really diving into your creativity this next three days. I feel like it's opening up more opportunities for wealth, more opportunities for abundance. Okay. Definitely more opportunities for um, academic growth, if that's your thing. Okay. Wow. Thank you, Power One. I appreciate you for being here. We're going to move on to Pile Two. All right, so we are looking into miracles and blessings um, entering your universe in the next three days. I feel like rest is significant here, but also re cellular regeneration. Um, I feel like someone here, like this could be ascension symptoms that you're possibly dealing with pile two, because it feels like you're moving and progressing, but it's like you may not really feel like you always have the energy level to match what is what your um what spirit is trying to bring into your universe uh be mindful this next three days of influential energies or it could be that there's ancestral uh spirits coming to your defense over the yeah come into your defense over the course of the next three days because i feel like those who have hidden plans against you have carried them out in some way, shape, or form. Um, this could be casting some type of spell. Um, this could be trying to convince someone they're not that they're not grieving, or that um, convince someone that they're not um, that you're not grieving. 
Um, I will say, though, <laughs> the next three days, expect a lot of um, things to be birthed to you or flow to you in private. I feel like there's an energy here in Pile to where there's been some type of energy blast against you that has caused an alteration of not just your timeline, but I feel like your long-term project. So say like somebody here, you know, with the chariot in the world, like you had a long-term project of maybe like, or a long-term goal or desire of, you know, possibly like buying a home and on the mountains or something like that. And every time you move forward in that, in that project, like, I don't know, the mountain come crashing down. It's kind of like this moon energy here. Um, I, I feel like you're being gifted more discernment or being gifted more um, space and flow to create. This could be maybe create more spells, create more opportunities for healing, uh, really close out some projects, tie up some loose ends. Uh, this feel, pile feels very like... <laughs> I feel like y'all got like some big important things to do. And the miracle and blessings that is like coming entering your universe has to do with you completing these big important things it's like he yeah here this nine of pentacles i don't know it's like it's so crazy to see the seven of swords and the seven of wands come out together like wow pal two you have to be a very scary person for somebody to be like talking about um acting out and carrying out not just in their head but even in the physical like plans against you like um, maybe this is somebody that's not free. I don't know. Maybe like, it's just, it's so wild. And this is Saturn's energy, y'all. It's the 10th house. It's Capricorn. So Saturn's day is Saturday in case anybody didn't know. And for you overly advanced wizards, we also have Saturn hour, like happening multiple times a day, every single day. So it's almost like whatever this energy is piled to, there's somebody that's just very fixated on you. Interesting, kind of creepy, but you know, hey, listen, spirit is like with this energy of the lovers, like we can absolutely manifest more protection, more blessings, like more affection. This could be like more, it's almost so crazy. It's almost like here in pile two. A miracle and blessing that's entering your universe very much so is like the more hate that is thrown at you, like, okay, this is going to sound silly or not. I don't know. Say like here in pile two, like, say like it's like 50 people hating on you right now. Like the miracle and blessings that's entering your universe, like the next two days is like, okay, here's. 50,000 people that don't hate Pile 2, or here's 50,000 people that actually vibe with Pile 2. Um, or it's just say that there's like, you know, certain, say there's just certain motherfuckers you ain't getting along with, certain motherfuckers you just having the time with, just, just, you know who your obsy is. I guess here in Pile 2, like some of y'all ain't know who y'all obsy is. <laughs> um... It's almost like, oh gosh, I forgot. Yep, y'all do, y'all do. Ah, there it is. And they probably maybe they Oh, some of y'all ops is at the bank. I knew it. Old bank, not new bank. I feel like something about new bank is a future. Like someone's future is at a new bank. Prophetic dreams, slay them cards. Ow. Okay, maybe some of you guys are readers. Maybe some of you guys are seers. You're prophetic dreamers. Here in Pile 2, I feel like a miracle and blessing that is coming to you is, um, you know, people can trap you in a spiritual lesson and you could be learning. Um, I don't want to say too deep, but I feel like you've been kind of going through something, Pile 2, where it's like, yeah, I pretty much like learned what I needed to learn in this in this absolute circle or conundrum of whatever it is that's going on here in Pile 2. Now I want more peaceful surroundings. I'm ready for my blessings to pour in. Um, wow, it's just... With seeing don't deposit into account someone knows about, I will very much so say a big um, miracle and blessing that's coming is financial. Okay, this could be electronic, this could be cash. I feel like whatever way it is, though, pile to like you know what to do with it. I feel like someone here you just get in a lot of um, 
could be a lot of narcissists trying to enter your universe, like scammers or stealers. It just feels like there's so much financial abundance here. Yet, I feel like somebody here, you so like stressed or worn out that it's just like, how do I get the, how do I get the payments to come to me? Like something, I don't know. It could be somebody, you know, lying about money. We're going to move on to that other deck. Let that woman love you. Let that man love you. So it's just me and women here in Pals who just going through it in terms of love. And I feel like <laughs> the next three days, a miracle and blessing will be that one of love. I don't have a love deck over here, but I will pull um, tarot for love. Oh. <laughs> Why do these songs pop up like at the same time a card pops up? This could be, uh, I don't get it. What are y'all plans? What be these hidden plans, bro? Like what y'all be trying to do? Oh gosh. Here, a miracle and blessing, I will say in pile two for love, is um, more communicate. I feel like there's just a lot of grounding that's needed. This could be some root chakra disturbances. I'm going to go do a foot bath in a minute. Try not to make the water too hot because then I'll be like burning my feet. Wow. <clears throat> Actually, pile too. I feel like whatever these hidden plans that keep coming up, like in these readings, y'all, like just people just trying to be like, you know, just like weird little thievery little individuals, it's really paying off for you. Like, listen, this is the highest state of euphoria I feel like you can get where it's just like so happy and so, um, yeah, removal of third party situation. Yeah, I just was watching Sabrina again. And not Theo and uh, what's his name? <laughs> well, yeah, I'd be analyzing the hell out of these shells. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Did she just get scared? Cause this hob hob globbing looking motherfucker basically sort of like, you're you're hurting him, you're killing him. He needs to come with me. Like, girl, she just wants him too. <sighs> Okay, hi, pile three. Miracles and blessings entering your universe in the next three days. Let's see what's going on. It's like somebody's trying to really like, ooh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like somebody's really trying to like, It's a lot of start stop here in Pio three. A lot of start stop energy. You may be dealing with like a lot of interference. Um, this could be a lot of more people are projecting like their shadows or their wounds onto you. It could be more people are in pain and um creating more. At least if that's how like the energy is going. I feel like uh, miracle and blessing over the next three days. I feel like really is an opportunity to start healing on your own dime, your own merit, on your own accord. It feels like there's something very freeing about your next three days. I don't really feel like you have much belief in anything outside of yourself. And I'm not going to say that that's the bad thing because sometimes when that double energy is too overpowering, you may need to just draw on, you know, kind of like that you versus you mentality. Um, I see a lot of divine intervention, whatever it is that you are needing at this time, pal three, I don't see you needing to ask for it. I will even go out on a limb, especially if it's money, child. Yeah. I will say if it's definitely money, don't ask the next three days. So this could be not applying for a loan or not asking a family or friend or relative or business partner, whoever, for any type of money. Um, this could be just being more conscious of how you're spending, tracking, you're spending, you know, 
saving money, if you got to cut a little corner, I ain't mad at you. Or over the course of the next three days, because it's it's like this beggar energy keeps circulating here um, in my reading. Sometimes it's in one pile more than the other pile. So it could be that a miracle blessing that's coming to you is more consistent um, opportunities. It could be that this start and stop or this interference is people trying to jam up a consistent flow of opportunities. This could be a consistent flow of travel as well. Because something about this Ten of Pentacles feels like travel, maybe traveling to secure property, traveling to secure land. This could maybe even traveling to secure clients or work. Yeah, Daughter of Pentacles. Could be that... Um... <laughs> It could be that there's a rebranding or a relaunch that is paying off, or it's just like, I feel like someone here, you're privately hitting some figures the next three days. And I feel like you may either not believe it, or it's like, you may think like, oh, okay, yeah, I just been feeling this, but I don't really think that's what it is. No, it's. I feel like here in pile three, you are definitely cashing in the next few days. Like miracle and blessings is very cash, but I feel like there's something um, more than that that is exciting you over the course of the next three days. And those of you guys that are more in the spiritual spiritual plane, this could be connecting with other witches. Um, Neptune energy could be significant here. Maybe someone here, you're becoming famous off of providing healing <laughs> i don't really know how to how to say it anymore y'all like astrology is definitely significant here pile three it could be the next um three days entering in the next the miracles and blessings entering your universe the next three days is that of celestial power it could be that there's a high i don't know why i feel so much high profile energies in this reading it could be a very high profile event going in your favor it could be um you Backing some type of hope pipe. Oh, oh what y'all doing? Backing some. <laughs> oh, maybe somebody thinks you a hoe. Backing some type of high profile. Um, wait a minute. What? <laughs> I just realized what I said. Backing some type of high profile event or campaign. Um, pile three. What's going on lately? Like, why are people so weird? Somebody thinks you're a hoe. And this coming out, baby, I'm telling y'all something. Somebody... <laughs> um, justice energy coming out here in seventh house. Okay. Like, um, You know, I've been hearing uh, press, that song press, like, clear audiently the last few days. And I was wondering, like, oh, why this song keep coming up? Okay, so it could be that, you know, I feel like a lot of times people say what they say because they know they're going to get the attention either way. Like, I, I, I've lately I've really just been kind of like in this reflective zone about these type of energies because it's like okay like where do these things so I think Meg talked about this in one of her songs it's basically like basically you ain't got nothing to say so you making up stuff or assuming or there's been presumptions Ooh, there's oh okay a little specific thanks there's been presumptions placed um against you or it's like somebody's talking about you, pile three, in a very, very derogatory way. And it seems like this next three days, honey, like... <laughs> Yo, yeah, that's like, all right, they got something to say, let them say what they want to say. Because what we'll be doing anyway is... Securing the bag, securing the future, securing the gold, securing all oh, gold, opportunities. Oh, y'all know the Olympics is, oh, y'all know Small Bounds is back. I didn't even know she was gone. I don't really get into, like, Olympic stuff, y'all. Um, it's, it's, it's too, it's, it's very, it's a very, very long process. Um, sometimes one game is enough. 
Um, but I, I got an article or an email from New York Times. They trying to get me to pay, y'all. They trying to get me to sign up. I'm already signed up for the Chicago Tribune. I'm like, that's... Ugh. I'm like, ain't that enough? But anywho, yeah, it's in the headlines that she's back. And I was like, I didn't know she was gone. She went somewhere. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I just went to gymnastics. Maybe she needs some good energy. So if anybody got any good energy to send out, maybe she needs some. Oh, oh, maybe that's okay. I remember there was something going on with her mental health. Okay, that explains. And I'm shuffling this. this okay. So maybe that's what, um, maybe that's why. Maybe there's something going on with this mental health, with this God and goddess of pinnacles in this next three days. Like I'm saying, peace is, peace is luxury. Peace very much so is luxury. I don't really feel like it's time for you to restrict yourself at this time, pal three. I feel like your spirit team really wants you. They really want to bless you. Like, ah, they really want to show you like... <laughs> I feel like somebody here in Pile 3, your spirit team really wants to show you like why so many people are trying to hold on to you. This could be why so many people are trying to resurface in your life. Um, this could even be why so many people are trying to condemn you or tear you down. We got divine masculine here, okay? Divine masculine, y'all take care of yourselves. I said a few months back, I believe that I felt like there was an attack going on on like the divine masculines, the divine feminine energies. Just like, as we shift through vibrations, y'all, it's it's two buckets. You want to heal or you don't. You want to grow or you don't. You want to evolve or you don't. You want to change or you don't. And whichever bucket you're choosing, um, that that's your bucket. Like you know, absolutely be at peace with it. But it just seems like this um very negative um ferocious, sometimes almost even deadly energy getting targeted at people that want to grow, that want to heal, that want to evolve, that want more for themselves. It's like, it's, it's, it's sinister at times. It's like, wow. So, um, yeah, let's see. This is a very short reading. I just want to, I like, you know, sometimes oh business will heal you and your lineage okay premonition pre maybe some of you guys hey maybe the next the miracle and blessings this next three days is from business okay maybe this is um miracles overpouring to you um blessings over um outpouring overpouring whichever I feel like don't lose yo um some of you here don't lose sight of like your logic there's something very logical about here in pile three with this business the next three days so i feel like your next move is definitely your best move yeah this is what i was looking for but i just didn't want to go looking for it i was trying to trust the process <laughs> so trust the process pile three okay this next three days uh i'm gonna do this one more time just because then i felt a little sun sun oh okay small but mighty times three oh good evil eye they gonna be trying to hide y'all all right well thanks for coming this was like i said i just sat down and decided to i was gonna do it by the planet but i rather um not considering what I just woke up to an experience last night, trying to get a plan as a break, I guess. So, yeah, collectively, the miracles and blessings are entering your universe the next three days. Thank you, Pile 3, for being here. Thank you, Pile 1 or Pile 2, if y'all stayed to watch the whole entire reading. And many, many peaceful waves of peace, okay? Peace. The, the world is mentally breaking and snapping all at the same time. So y'all take care of yourselves. Bye.